Welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. We are continuing with the operations on set. This has been a long uh, video so far. So today we are taking the, the three set problem. We are done with the descriptions and the two set problem. At this point, if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you find it educative and share and don't forget to comment. Now, for three set problem, it means that the three subsets are subset of four, the universal set. We are going to represent that also on a Venn diagram. Therefore, the red diagram, we are going to have a rectangle, which will be our universal set. We are going to have three separate world, circles, which will mean our world, uh, subset. So if I have... So if I have this being three set, you see all the three sets have to overlap in order for us to have the regions that we are looking for. Now we know that the whole space occupied by the, the rectangle is our universal set. So all these spaces is one. We have another section. So let's see how many of the sections we have here. So in this case, if I want to indicate the, the middle to be 1, let's say 2, 3, 4, then the empty space will be what? 8. So now in this case, we are having 8 different regions. So how do we describe the various regions? So if you look at region 1, if you are to draw the circle B, you will include the one. If you are to draw the circle A, you will still include the one. And if you are drawing the circle C, one will still be included, meaning that is the intersection of the three sets. So if I want to find the intersection, that is A intersection, B intersection, what? C will equals to region one. If I'm looking for the region 1, how will I describe it in terms of union intersection and in terms of the operations? It's going to be A intersection B intersection what? C. That is the middle there. Now, we want to describe the region 2. You can see that 2 is the whole of this minus 5, 1, and 6. So, region 2 will be A intersection B complement, intersection C complement. That will be our region 1, 2. The region here, if you want to shade, by shading, that will just be the region 2. Now, if I want to describe region 3, that is also going to be A complement, intersection B, intersection C complement, the region, okay, region 3. This is going to be our region, what, 3. The third region here, it is only, we can also call it only B. And here could also be only A. Then if you are coming to 4, that will be A complement, B complement, intersection C will give us what, region 4. So, it means that the complement of A and B intersect with what? The set C at the region 4. Let's take region 5. How do we explain that? That is also going to be A intersection B. A intersection B. But the A intersection B consists of 5 and 1. But in this case, we are referring to only 5. Meaning, the C is not having intersection with that. So, that becomes... A intersection B intersection 1, C complement. A intersection B intersection C complement, meaning C is not included in this region called 5. What we do we go? We go to region 1, uh, 6. That is also going to be with 1, B and C. If I'm looking for this, it will be A and C. It will be 1 and 6. But I'm looking for only 6, so the 1 will be taken away. 
So A intersection C intersection B complement will give us region 6. A intersection C intersection what? B complement. That will also give us 6. What are region 7? I believe that is between B and C. So B intersection C intersection A complement. Don't forget, this could also be written as A complement intersection B intersection C. Similarly, this can also be B complement intersection C. If you want to write them in alphabetical order. And this is our region word, 7. Then let's go right away to region 8, which is outside A union B union C. So that is going to be A union B union C or complement will equals to region what? 8. So these are the description of all the 8 regions. If you are looking for region 1, you know you are referring to the union, the intersection of the 3 set. Alright. Now, if I want to represent, let's say, A intersection B, only these two, A intersection B, which other regions do you think that will contain? A intersection what? Uh, B. From here, you can see that A intersection B will be this cycle. And that is going to be region 1 and what? Region 1 and 5. A intersection B. Region 1 and 5. Then, if I have A intersection C, with the region, I believe you are thinking of A intersection C to be region 1 and what? And 6. Alright. So now, let's take this uh, into a step by we shape the regions for you to see the areas we are referring to. Don't forget, this is A only, B only, and what? C only. This is the intersection of all the three, of only two, without the third one, of only two, of only two. So only one will be one, two, three. Two will be one, two, one, two, one, two. Then if only two, it will be six, five, and Seven. All right, let's draw that. So let's say one. So I want to shade here. If I shade, make sure you give me the name. I'm sure this is going to be A intersection B intersection what? C. I believe you got that. The total intersection. Now, I'm shading this region, which consists of region 1 and 7. What do you think will be the description? Look at it very well. That will be, I'm combining B intersection what? C. B intersection C will be shaded this way. Then, let's see. Shading region 6 and that of region 1. What do you think will be? That will be A intersection what? C. Alright. Let's say I want to shade the region here. That is belonging the space between A and B. So I believe I heard you saying A intersection what? B. Good. Watch carefully. That region used to be region 2. So if that is going to be, it's going to be A only. Or it's going to be A intersection B complement intersection word C complement that is either A only the region belonging to only A only the first set
Okay? What do you see? You are seeing the region belonging to only B, right? So this is going to be B only or the A complement intersection. B intersection what? C complement. A and B, A and C are the complement where the B is the set we are referring to. All right, I believe you get that. Now let's move this to number seven. Now, if I share this, what reading are you seeing? I believe you are seeing C only. The reading belonging to C, that's reading uh, 3. No, reading 4. Only C. And that is the same as A complement intersection B complement intersection what C the reading belonging to only C all right let's see if you want to shade this what are you thinking of what reading do you think that will belong to you can see A is being taken B is being taken and C is also being taken meaning all the reading included except the region 8. So that is going to be A union B union 1 C. A union B union C. All the region included. Right? Let's see. So now let's see number 9. We want to shade this region. Three set will be A union b union c or what complement the region that belong to a you know b complement the region outside their union will be the complement it is still in a universal set all right let's see if we can take it a step further region are you seeing how will you describe that region i believe you are seeing Completely A, completely what? C. So we can say that A union what? C. A union C. A and C combine together. If possible, we can add the complement of this. Because the complement of this will still fall here. Then that will be intersection B complement. If this is a union, it will still be intersecting what? The B complement. But a union C will be there. Then let's see which region are you seeing being covered? Completely A, completely what? B, except the C only. So this become A union what? B, if possible, intersection C complement. Intersection C complement. Then finally, I believe. You can also say that this is completely B and completely what? C. So that become B union what? C. Alright, so these are the various regions by shading of what? A three set problem. The various regions. So any of the region based on the, the designated number we give first. One, two, three, up to eight. You know, under the two sets, we have how many regions? Four regions. We know it is two, still using the formula of a subset. Two n. Where the n is what? Two. How many sets? Two. How many regions do we get? Four regions. This is also two exponent n. And the n is how many sets? Three sets. So that will give us what? Eight regions. So we can also add that as a formula to ourselves to find out how many regions we can get from. A three set problems. It is eight. Now the if one is completely out, if we have uh, the complement to be zero, still under the same uh, sentence, each student or each person pick one of the item. If each person pick one, it means there is nobody hanging in that group of people. So that would be the three set problems 
that we have okay in order to solve questions we want to see how we can put some formulas down as we have described the various regions so we can see that from from the venn diagram if i want to use let's say number of a union b union c is going to be adding the region one to I'm looking for A union B. The region outside is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will be the region belonging to A union B union C. Now, if I want to change this 1, 2, 3 to each respective definition or description, we are going to say that all this is going to be region, let me start from here, region 2 is going to be A only. So, number of A only, let me go here, so if you go here, we are going to have B only, so number of B only, and then I have 2, 3, out of 4, 4 is also going to be the number of 4, C only, so now we've taken care of 1, 2, 3. What of this we are adding? So we add 5, which will be this intersection, this. So that is going to be, if it is 5, that will be number of A intersection B. Still what? Only. Don't forget 5 is only because it is not a combination of 5 and 1. A intersection B. Is 5 and 1, but only will give us uh, region 5. Let's go to region 6, which will be number of what? A intersection C, still only. Then let's go to region uh, 7, which will be number of B intersection C only. Now let's come back to 1, which will be Number of what? A intersection B intersection what? C. If I add only, it will still be the same. So these are the regions. So it means that if I have a question on the three set problem, I can decide to use this formula. That is union of all the three set equals to A only plus B only plus C only plus A B intersection only plus A C intersection only plus DC intersection only and obviously plus the three intersection. That is one formula we can use in here. And don't forget we are saying this union. We've not mentioned this. This will come into play if we are going to add region what? Eight. All right. We can also use our A union B to be equals to the regions we are having, we know this is going to be combination of this will give us A intersection word B. So I'll have number of A, not only, number of A, which consists of region 1, 2, 5, 6, all of them, plus number of B, then we subtract number of A intersection B minus number of A intersection C minus number of B intersection C plus the A intersection B intersection C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, we can see that when they say A, we are referring to 1, 2, 3, 4 regions. If I come back here and say B, 1, 2, 3, 4 regions. If I say C, 1, 2, 3, 4 regions. You can see that some of the numbers are repeating. I'll write 5 when I'm mentioning B. I'll write 5 when I'm mentioning A. 
Hence, the subtraction of A in intersection B. Don't forget, if I subtract A in intersection B, I am taking care of the 1 also. Because the 1 will be added 3 times. So taking it all out, we bring it back again by addition. So this will be subtracted, this will be subtracted, and this will be subtracted before we add. Because we will be taking, we will be using 5 2 times, 7 2 times, 6 2 times. We will be taking away this 3 times. Therefore, we need to bring it back. So this will also give us our second formula, which mostly we use direct without a Venn diagram. If you want to use the Venn diagram, then we use this. Don't forget, number of U equals to number of A union B union C plus complement. That is the reason why we are using this without the region 8. The moment the region 8 is included, then our universal set becomes the union plus what? The complement. Meaning this consists of region 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the eighth one. Then we have our universal set. I can say this tutorial is a long one. So I will leave it here. And the next episode, we will take a question and see how we can translate all this information into uh, solving one question. If you like this tutorial, please share with people that may need this. Like it if you do find it educative and leave your comment below as we get interactive. See you in the next episode.